let's do a little bit of a warm up preparing our body to do these asanas all right to begin with stretch your leg out a little bit curl your toes in tighten them relax tighten your toes up and relax tighten your toes in and relax tighten your toes up and relax all right now for your joints and shoulders let's just do a little bit of a shoulder rotation followed by your elbow in and out movement breathing in and out in and out in and out in and out all right breathe in and place your palms on the floor and go down as much as you can try touching your nose on the ground breathe in and come back breathe in palms on the ground flat try going down and breathe in and come back breathe in and down in and out these are all preparatory warm-ups for the asana that we are going to be practicing today breathe out and go down breathe in come up breathe out and down this time we're going to hold breathe out stay there breathe normally and out and down all right now we've done this before the paschimottanasana or hand to toe posture as you sit down so um, paschima uttana paschima is the direction and it can also mean back so uttana is to lift so when you do this you're actually lifting your back upwards and taking it forward that's why it's called the paschimottanasana paschimottanasana helps to um, strengthen your hamstrings it helps to lengthen your hamstrings along with helping your uh, lower back and your entire back to stretch out a little bit um, it also helps to uh, reduce problems of constipation if you have menstrual disorders it helps you to an extent it also helps with controlling diabetes by massaging your internal organs helping them regulate themselves a little better now let's see how we can do the paschimottanasana let's do it together breathing in and out breathe in and out just lean forward breathe in and out breathe in and out breathe in just go as much as your body lets you please sit on your sitting bone breathe in and out breathe in and out see if you can keep your knees straight and hold on to your big toe with your index finger and once you can do that try to straighten your back stay there feel that stingling sensation in your feet it's helping to stretch all those ligaments and tendons in your feet helping your hamstrings stretch out a bit helping you become more flexible observe your abdomen pressed against your thighs as you stay there and wait as you breathe normally don't hold your breath that's the biggest problem most people have just breathe normally as you practice breathe in and out breathe in come up breathe out drop your hands to the side and now let's get ready to do uh, the ardha matsyendra asana followed by the matsyendra asana now matsyendra is lord of 
fish posture. Uh, Matsyendra was uh, one of the uh, disciples of the Adi Yogi or Shiva according to the text Hatha Yoga and um, this asana is dedicated to that student. Uh, uh, all right now how do you perform the Matsyendra asana and what are the benefits of Matsyendra asana? Matsyendra asana is a spinal twist posture which enables the spine to twist slightly not slightly it gives a nice good extension of a twist helping to relieve uh, tension of the neck, the shoulders and the back. It helps to al allow fresh blood into your spine uh, thereby making you feel energized and uh, youthful. It also helps to uh, give fresh oxygenation into the nerves in the neck region that connects into your brain uh, making you feel a little more uh, fresh. So let's try and see how we perform this asana. So this was just about the muscular thing. Now as you perform this asana you'll observe that your abdominal region is pressed against your thighs and it helps to uh, compress the abdominal organs while the spine is also in involved in a twist. This actually helps to give the internal organs a good massage thereby uh, eliminating problems within your body. Alright now how do we do the Ardhamatsi Indra Asana? I'll do the easy version so that everyone can follow along with me. So to do this let's keep our legs forward. Sit in Dandasana. Make sure you're sitting on your sitting bone nice and tall. See if you can feel your sitting bone. If you can't place your hands behind your back push yourself and that's nice. and now try and move and see if you can see your sitting bone. Once you discover your sitting bone sit there in Dandasana. From here let's bend our right leg. Let's bend our right leg place our right feet beside the left knee. Now take your right hand and place it behind your back. There is a chance that you're sitting like this right now. So if you're sitting like this, putting this hand behind your back will ensure to keep your back nice and tall. All right, so take your right hand and place it behind your back, making your back feel nice and tall. So your elbow pushes into your back, making your back nice and tall. All right, now your left hand, Breathe in, take your left hand up. Now this is just the Ardha Matsyendra Asana. Using your elbow, push your knee to the side like this. All right, so I'm pushing my knee to the side and I'll turn back and stay there. Breathe normally in your final position, which is Ardha Matsyendra Asana. Turning back, feel your abdomen expand against your thighs as you stay here. Observe the challenges that the Ardha Matsyendra Asana is posing in your body. Enjoy that feeling. Now as you breathe out, turn forward, release your hand, slowly stretch your leg out. Now we'll do it to the opposite side. This time as we practice, I'll put my legs forward so that you can see how it is from the front. Alright, I'm doing my left side now. Bending my left knee and I place my left feet beside my right knee. Now my left hand will be taken back and pressed against my back to keep my back straight. I'll breathe in, take my hand up. Now as I breathe out, I'm going to push my elbow into my knee, turn back and stay. Now breathe in as you release and slowly straighten out your legs. So that was Ardha Matsyendra Asana. Let's see if we can do it together one more time. All right. Are you ready? So bend your right leg at the knee. Place your right feet on the ground in front of your, on the side of your left knee. Now take your right hand, place it behind your back, straightening your back out. When you straighten your back out, you see how your abdomen is pressed against your thighs. All right, now take your left hand up, pull it to the side. Now push your elbow into your knee, pushing your thighs further into your body. Turn back and breathe normally, stay. See, it, you cannot give me an excuse that you have a tummy and it's not letting you perform this asana. It's all you require is 
a little bit of an effort and a determination and willpower to do this so if you can't really do so much and if your body is telling you that this is all you can do for today no problem this is perfectly fine just stay here and see how you're taking it and with each day try getting better and better you can even do this this is another variation where you put your elbow against your knee and just stay here finally you get to do this observe that nice beautiful twist in your spine making your spine supple you feel your energy open up as you stay here breathe in come forward breathe out and relax your leg bend your left leg at the knee place your left feet by the side of your right knee left hand take and back and keeping your back straight take your right hand up breathe out as you pull your hand down and push your elbow into your knee stay there as you turn back Breathe in as you come forward, release your hands and stretch your leg out. So that was Matsyendra Asana, it helps strengthen the back, releases tension from the back and most of us have tension, a lot of tension in the back these days. This by releasing tension from the back, helping your neck and shoulder muscles relax. This asana also helps to calm down the body to a large extent and that's exactly what we need as we sit at home, confined to a little space and is not sure about what the future is like. So let's try and learn to relax with these few asanas and tips. Now let's see how we can perform the Matsyendra asana. So what I just showed was the Adha Matsyendra asana. Matsyendra asana also does have a lot of versions and variations. I'm gonna show you a relatively simple version of Matsyendra asana where I'm going to fold my right leg and take it underneath my left leg. I'm going to place that here. Now I'm going to take my left leg, bend it at the knee and try placing my left feet on the side of my right knee. Once I've done this, I'm going to take my left hand back, supporting my back with my left hand. I take my right hand up. I push my right knee into my elbow, into my knee and see if I can hold my left ankle with my right knee. Now in this complete posture, I have to turn the opposite way, which is like this. This gives a beautiful fine twist to your body. Enjoy that twist, breathe normally as you stay in that position. Gently release your grip, breathe in, come forward, breathe out, release your legs. That was a beautiful stretch. Now let's do the same thing to the other side. This time I'll just show it the front side so that you can actually do it with me. I'm bending my left leg and placing my left feet into my right uh, bottom. Now I'm going to take my right leg, bend it at the knee and play, try and place my ankle or feet by the side of my knee all right once you've done this take your right hand so if your right leg is on top you take your right hand and place it behind your back okay now breathe in raise your left hand as you breathe out I want you to try pushing your elbow into your knee into your right knee and hold your right ankle with your left hand like this now in the complete posture you are meant to turn back like this Breathe in as you turn forward, release the grip and stretch your legs out. 
let's do this one more time so that everyone understands and is able to do it along with me we'll go step by step i bent my right leg at the knee i'll slowly place my right feet into my left side of the bottom i'm gonna bend my left leg at the knee and place my left feet by the side of my knee now i'm going to take my left hand so whichever leg is on top i take that hand behind okay now i take the opposite hand and i push it down with my elbow push my knee down with my elbow and hold on to the ankle turn back now if you look you'll observe how the shoulders come into one line giving a nice and beautiful fine stretch to your entire back region giving fresh supple energy and blood into your spine feeling freshness within your body feeling light and youthful smile breathe normally please don't hold your breath at any pose please breathe normally stay there enjoy this posture and the beautiful stretch observe how your abdomen expand against your thighs as you breathe in and out in this posture feel the gentle massage that your internal organs are getting as you breathe in and out and your tummy expanding against your thighs breathe in and turn forward breathe out release the grip stretch out your legs as you use your hands to support your back let's just do it to the opposite side now this time i'm going to bend my left leg and place it under my right bottom take my right leg place it on the side of my left knee now i take my right leg back right hand back because my right leg is on top behind my back i take my left hand up push my knee out hold on to my ankle turn back and stay breathe in and look forward breathe out release your grip slowly place your hand down and stretch your legs in front of you that's a beautiful stretch and i'm sure you'd agree with me you can try and do a slight variation by not pushing yourself all the way listen to your body please we are all different individual and unique in our own ways so please appreciate your body as it is please respect your body please don't push it too much of its limits follow your body and don't let it break while you keep yourself healthy may your mind be healthy and calm and happy and peaceful at all times i'll see you later until then good luck practicing and have a beautiful day goodbye